thing we choose to be born, or we fit it to the times we're born into. Well, I don't know about myself. You may be. There was a real sense of authenticity on the set, where the only real imposition would be that there was a camera and there were monitors, and that would be the only real imposition on the time period. There was a deep, intuitive respect for the story and for the man, Abraham Lincoln, and for his cabinet, and for his wife, and for his children, all in costume, all being played by real 21st century people. But we got onto the Lincoln set, and we kind of were thrown back in time, I think. Back in 1865, the White House was uh, different than it is today. The whole upper floor was where the president lived and where his office was. So there's not much separating him from the people in those days. The real opportunity and challenge for me as a production designer is that while it is a big story, it's being told intimately. It's very much, here's his world. Here's the White House, there's the entrance. There's his living quarters, here's the Congress, he'll travel through the streets in this way. And for me, the heart of the movie is his office, where he did most of his work as President of the United States. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this, and the maps. That kind of level of detail, whether it be a battle map or a little note, or the wallpaper that we had to have created in the old fashioned way, exactly the way it was. The set decorator has just gone to extraordinary lengths to help make that as real and detailed as we possibly can. Come February the 1st, I intend to sign the 13th Amendment. I think in the end we had about 140 actors who had speaking parts on this film. It was a lot. I gave one big presentation to Stephen of the colors, likening it to sort of hand-tinted photographs and he liked all of that. He just wanted it to be realistic. I went with a very dark walnut brown for Lincoln's clothing, which helps depict the warmth of the man. One of the original hats of Lincoln's is in the Smithsonian, so we could study all the detail of that, and it had a beautiful dark red Moroccan leather lining, which used to tuck all his notes into that. Daniel's physicality, is amazing, that hanging effect of the clothes across his shoulders. You feel the weight of the position he's in. Mrs. Lincoln. Madam President, if you please. Joanna, and I work very, very closely. Her costumes are just extraordinary. We wanted to have Mary's measurements. I'm exactly Mary's height. The difference is that I gained 25 pounds to be Mary. Mary Todd loved purples, blues, so I wanted a strength of color with this electric blue for the reception scene at the White House. Almost all of Mary's costumes are exact replicas of the clothes that she was able to find in photographs or in paintings, including the final dress that you see Mary in when he's dying. They're not really costumes, they are the clothes. It was extraordinary to get inside. It changes your posture. And then you look around and you're in the world. Good. All the details for this movie, it wasn't painstaking. It was more, let's get that part of it right, to do a service to the actors and the storytellers. And then maybe this imagery will live on when people want to know what it was like for him. Shall we stop this bleeding? I wanted to step into the 19th century and I wanted to make a film that represented the times and the mood of the nation, the mood of the individuals trying to find these solutions and tell the story. 